Hello, I am speaking for my COM 101 class today. <laughs> and today we will be talking about how you can boycott Netflix for their stupid prices with their account sharing plan. <clears throat> Making all those college people angry because they can't watch Wednesday for 500 times. Which is, by the way, overrated as all heck. Um, and so today I'm going to teach you how you can watch your favorite show, Stranger Things, the 20th time, on one of these two different categories I'm going to be showing to you today. Those being the legal stra streaming sites and the legal streaming sites. Um, more about that in a second. So, I know that I said ad-free on the topics, but, however, these free ones that are entirely legal, with no gray errors in between. Most of these have ads, but using a free ad blocker, uh, for example, ad blocker on the Google extensions, or just getting your own from, for example, NordVPN or Surfshark or something of that matter. Now, a few of those that are there, um, everyone knows Tubi, Crackle, Voodoo, Crunchyroll, um, so that's that, and that's your legal streaming. Now for your legal streaming, you have a very weird area here. Um, so first, I'd like you guys to follow three rules. Those three rules are first, please, for God's sakes, do not click on the hot singles in your area, man. We got enough of those here at UP. The singles that is, not the hot part. Um, anyways, so for that, the second one, turn on your pop-up ad blocker because I cannot tell you how many times when I've been watching anime, my parents walk in and it's playing an ad that I don't want to discuss, but it, I, I'll give you a little secret. It's about adult entertainment. Anyways, so make sure you have that on unless you want to have a very awkward talk with your parents or your roommate for that matter that we all have because, you know, most of us are residents here currently. And these legal sites, a few of them include Zorro, Nine Anime, F Movies, Watch Free, AZ Movies. As you can see here, I have a lot more of the, maybe not quite so legal sites, uh, and not a lot of free legal ones. That's because those ones are a lot less comprehensive. This one, you could find legit anything. For example, um, there's this one time I had this assignment for anthropology. It was about this movie called Culture Clash. And I went over to So Today, looked it up, so I didn't have to use the CSN website because that's a nightmare. And immediately, I had my movie. No fuss, no muss. Now, on to number three of those rules. Use a free VPN and an ad blocker. One of the best VPNs that I like to use is just called FreeVPN2023. That's it. That's why you have to look up free VPN 2023. Or you can, of course, spend your money on NordVPN, Surfshark, things like that. And you might want to use a Tor browser, which is like adds a little bit of extra security because it connects through several different servers, allowing a little bit of extra safety, as well as uh, pairing it with DuckDuckGo, which increases the amount of privacy that you will have because. DuckDuckGo, while I did have one scandal of selling information of their users, has nowhere near the track record of Google or Bing, which both sell so much info. Once you do that, you'll be almost entirely secure. I would also personally like to recommend So Today, uh, but there's also a lot of ads on there if you're not careful. 
but So Today, out of all of these, probably has the best of the movie catalogs. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back over this again. By the way, I'm out of water. So, remember, legal strike sites. No real gray area here. Just use ad blocker, you'll be fine. Not as good as the legal ones because they don't have as much stuff and they are constantly have stuff removed. And the gray area, we have comprehensive, uh, as long as you follow the safety steps, it'll be fine. Remember those are, remember, the first one is turn on your ad blocker. Oh, sorry, don't click on any suspicious links. Second one, turn off your pop-up ad blocker. And third one, use a VPN and an ad blocker so that you don't have, let's just say, authorities. And I'd like to leave you all off with this fact that a very large percentage of the internet is the dark web where your information is being stolen. So follow these steps and you will have less information stolen. Thank you. I'm Alejandro Labrador. I was your speaker for today. I have all of you guys a great night.